Hello, my name is Blake within the Hyperloop. Let's watch a couple short videos. Uh, and the first being EPFL Hyperloop, which is a SpaceX pod competition team of their pod Bellaloo on their test track. <laughs> I love the music. So I think those red bits at the bottom of this wheel are the linear induction motor. So they're spinning up the circular disc as practice. Oh God, that's so awesome. That's so awesome I can't even <laughs> explain it. Um, next we're gonna watch uh, kind of a breakdown of their pod or exploded diagram video of their pod. Suspension and braking system, five millimeter of rebound, 50 integrated sensors, in-house software. Doesn't say exactly what kind of battery cells they are. Linear induction motor. And that's what we saw spinning the disc in the previous video. PFL Loop has their music and soundtrack pretty on point. I gotta hand it to them. Um, really awesome, uh, based out of Switzerland and uh, sponsored by a community, Crans Montana, where I've been. It's a cool mountain town. Next, uh, Heart Hyperloop um, revealed this after movie from their uh, big grand reveal yesterday of their pod and the switch mechanism that the pod can can change directions in the tunnel to go down other loop tunnels. And it really shows the partnerships uh, in this video of BAM and Tata Steel. And this is not a Hyperloop pod competition team, this is the real thing, uh, Hyperloop company. And this is really interesting. Their, their pod uh, floats kind of suspended midair. I can't explain it, but they're in installing the braces for that suspension system uh, for the pod to float. All I know is that a cable goes in and out between these little gaps and it becomes magnetized. I can't explain it any further than that. There's their pod. And we can see in this video that they're simulating weight um, and uh, they're simulating kind of a, a, a small uh, segment of the larger um, pod that they'll eventually build um, to see if it can actually hold um, while being suspended midair um, the weight of the, uh, the real pod with people or cargo in it. And so this is uh, when the kind of the gable system connects to the uh, top bit of the of the of the magnetic part. I can't even explain it. <laughs> and what's really cool is that they can go forward and backwards really easily, just kind of flipping the way the magnets are powered. That's so awesome. From this shot, it looks like a handheld shot um, inside the tube. And there you can see the two test or the two tracks. Um, so they can go left or right. And this brace on the far left is being like magnetized, so it shifts the whole pod uh, left. Um, and that's kind of how they 
do it, um, they use the side mount rails to magnetize and like shift the pod, which is brilliant. Um, while all the main, maintaining levitation from above. This is so futuristic. That's so awesome. Nice. And that's kind of a global network that they're really pitching to uh, eliminate short haul, I mean, short haul, Europe sized uh, air traffic. Um, they're really focusing on that uh, airplane market because there's already a really great um, national railway lines and, and, you know, railway in Europe and metro lines. Um, they want to really focus on the, the short haul flights. Um, and again, you can watch the whole grand reveal on Harp's um, YouTube page. It's 59 minutes. We also have kind of a live commentary version. Um, and it's just a really fascinating um, reveal. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. Uh, really cool. Um, and congratulations, Hart. Um, the, this next video is of a test center, um, three kilometers that they want to build. They're still trying to figure out a location they had previously announced one location in Flavoland, Netherlands, um, but they're now looking for a different location. Um, so let's watch this. And again, you see the guide rails uh, left and right, and then the levitation strips, <laughs> magnet strips, I don't know what you call it, um, magnetic levitation strips uh, at the top. And again, this system can go front and backwards just as easily. Whereas other Hyperloop pod teams, I don't know, they, they haven't really said much about that. Um, and again, really cool that you can just switch so easily, apparently. And that will really cut down the radius. So this is their proposed Hyperloop track an innovation center, you see um, what I would say smaller diameter um, micro <laughs> micro test pods um, and the tube insertion point to really maybe just prove out the concept of the, the switch. Um, and again, they have kind of a wooden structure that would simulate what the Hyperloop experience would be like and then a seating area of what the actual seats would look like. They've had some really fantastic renders. Um, again, they're really pushing for their technology to be kind of the basis of Hyperloop um, in Europe. Um, they're really trying to push forward and be like, yes, let's all kind of build the technology around our um, system of levitation and hanging. Um, also, I really, you know, like the solar and wind farms in the background and the bicycle track right here. Um, and that's hard. So now we're going to switch uh, to another test track. Um, this one is Hyperloop TT. They released uh, this video just a little bit ago, a couple days ago. Um, once in a lifetime, it's titled. Je m'appelle Henriette Ardouin et j'habite à Bagnères de Michon. Je suis l'une des femmes les plus âgées de France. J'ai peut-être un peu de compétition. This is so unlike any other video we've seen from Hyperloop CT. Um, well, there, there was one about kind of the Midwest Hyperloop that it kind of had a narrative of like who we are, you know, just a, a man speaking in the background, but this one is... This is very unique. <laughs> Dit qu'il y avait du nouveau bientôt. 
encore une nouvelle manière de parcourir la terre. Et on vous embête dans un And tube Hyperloop TT tubes are gigantic. I don't exactly know the meter diameter. I mean, it, the, this test track, again, I don't know exactly how long it is, um, but it, it really just kind of impresses you with the size, and that's their test pod. Yeah. So, really sweet video, really nice. When our capsule carries pa passengers for the first time in history, she plans to be inside um, next year. Um, that's incredible. Let's see if there's anything at the end. Just the logo, cool. Um, so now another Hyperloop TT video, full scale Hyperloop advances. An idea can be a small fleeting thing. An inkling. Worth this protecting. is similar to their previous American video. Because at any moment, the slightest breeze blows an idea off course. But the world's first passenger ready hyperloop cannot be blown off course. And 320 meters of tube, anchored to the earth at the Francazal Air Force Base, is anything but small. This is not an idea, this is a reality happening in Toulouse, France. From there, our capsule will race across the earth, connecting countries in a matter of minutes. Let the word go out. Hyperloop Transportation Technologies has begun testing in Toulouse. In the most real, category-defining, forward charging... Center. I just want to go back in time um, to this, the monitor so you can see um, this is probably the most I've ever seen of, of their technology. Um, you see a capsule control start, capsule stop, and then metered um, every five metered um, propulsion, uh, proportional gain. To, okay, I thought, oh, okay, so this is just for venting and stuff of the oxygen, I think, but that's really cool, start and stop. In the most real, category-defining, forward charging sense of the word, this actual capsule, these actual pumps, in this actual place. The world's first full-scale Hyperloop system. So vacuum pumps powered, passenger capsule assembled, Hyperloop TT system operational. And from here, what started as an idea is racing to life. Cool. So really exciting developments on Minifront. Um, looking forward to seeing more videos um, and kind of more explainer videos on how exactly the technology works. Uh, so stay tuned. Um, let us know what you think in the comments and uh, stay in the loop.